using just Mid Journey and Premiere, I'm gonna show you how to create some dope motion graphics using this limitless zoom effect. Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope YouTube tutorial. I created this NFL Street inspired cover using Mid Journey. Imagine you have a simple image and it just keeps going and going and going and going. Something like a limitless zoom effect. I'm gonna show you how to create some dope motion graphics using Mid Journey and Premiere. I don't wanna chit chat, patty whack, none of that. <laughs> Let's hop into the computer and get started. Let's get it. All right, so I kind of find something that I already want to go with to start this lim limitless zoom effect, but I kind of want to show you guys how I was able to blend all these images to come up with this right here. To come up with this, it took like a couple of playing around, like me typing in the prompts wasn't really working. So I'm gonna tell you, show you a quick workaround that you can do to get it. I wanted this specific prompt with the purple light, blah, 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 blah. Like I wanted my image to look similar like this, but I wanted it to look like the image that I inputted, right? So what I did is pretty much just copy all this stuff here. Boom, 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 boom. Copy like the actual prompt that you want, right? And in order to blend all three of these images together to get that type of vibe that you want, just go like this, go down to the, the text. You're gonna type in this blend option here, right? You're gonna drop in all your images that you kind of want your, uh, your image to look like. So the main image I wanted to be running towards the camera. Then the style that I want, I kind of want it to look like NFL street a little bit. And then you can add one more image. I'm gonna add three, you can add up to four. I want, I want this like flash uh, comic book type of vibe. So like I want a mix of them, right? You click on outside here, right here. And then you just paste in your prompt. Missing tackle, a foot, and I typed in a football player holding a football in uniform running towards camera with a purple light. Cool. But just to show you guys, like I said, what I meant, you can just drop in here, go to imagine, go to your prompt, paste your prompt that I just had, and then you want to copy all those images that we just had in there. So copy all three of those space and then i do want to keep the four by five in there press enter i pretty much already did it like i said i showed you guys the three images that i use one two three with my prompt attached to it right it gave me some cool things like this um i kind of like this first one or this bottom one here this second one is pretty cool, but I want, I really, really like this one. So I'm gonna do some variations of the fourth one. Cool vibes. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. This bottom one, cause I like him holding this football and I kind of like the atmosphere of it. We're gonna go and we're gonna uh, upscale this fourth one here. All right, boom. Now that it's upscale, what you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom out. Zoom out by two. You do the custom zoom out or zoom out by two. Um, we're gonna go two, Two, so for each one, you need about six of these, seven to be on the safe side. So we're just gonna do zoom out two for the first one. And then for the rest of them, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna mix them between zoom out two and custom zoom. We're gonna zoom this out. It just takes so long. I wish it was like faster, but like, I guess even me waiting 30 seconds is like, ah, oh, like you used to have to wait like an hour, two hours for stuff. So but now as you zoomed out, it gives you a different one. I really like this fourth one right here. This is pretty cool right here. But then I like how like there's a defender coming, but I just don't like this second. Like I don't like this bottom piece here. I like this one, but it's like, you don't really see anybody's hands. This one is like, he's running from a defender. So I'm gonna just do a create a variation of the first one. You don't have to do this. Like I said, I'm just doing this cause I'm extra. I bet. That's pretty good. That's a strong image here. So this is the zoom out, the first of the zoom outs. You're gonna open it in the browser, right? For each of the images that you save, make sure you open it in the browser. So we're gonna save this image. All right, so now we're gonna try a custom zoom. Add like another one in there. Maybe we'll add like a, it's gonna take all the same properties of this image, 
you could delete all this stuff really because it's a zoom out of what you already have right and then you type in let me see yeah a neon city with portal submit and like i said this is all like trial and error so you have to like play around with some of these settings when you use custom but the whole point of limitless zoom is to like come through different either universes multiverses cities point of views so that's going to make the um limitless zoom a little bit like have a better effect i hope adobe can get like with mid journey and like they can combine and you can have mid journey in photoshop or if mid journey can get its own like actual program i think that'd be cool this actually came out with some really 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 dope stuff y'all i like number two so we're gonna upscale number two and what you're gonna do for these is you're gonna do this like i said before like seven times for each and then collect all those images and put it in like i said play around with it play around with some of the settings play around with some of the prompts put in neon city cyber city search the gallery for different types of styles like you can grab certain elements from the prompt that you might want to use in yours like the people who have like mad details in their prompt you can go in here and just copy and paste it add it to your prompt on at least for the custom settings just so you can get it quicker and faster so you don't have to keep thinking but like i said if you don't feel like thinking about it you can just go zoom two times to zoom two times zoom two times like if you don't feel like thinking about it too much so open that back up in the browser save it and like i said i have to do this six more times so I'm gonna speed through this so then I can get to Premiere, which y'all are here for. So. Stop, wait a minute. Did you hit that subscribe button? No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, so now, if you could please, please, please hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button for me, or comment and let me know if you are feeling this. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so now we have all of our images correct. So you want to take those images and you're going to import those images into Premiere. Wherever your folder is, drop all of them in there. Boom. You're going to create a four by five uh, sequence. A four by five campus is 1200 by 1500. So y'all can stop asking me now. Okay, so now you got your images. And you're going to go ahead and make and line them all up. I usually name mine in name order so everything could be uh, you know, chronological. You're gonna drop all those in there, right? So now we have our images. Boom, 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 boom. Fire, right? Cool beans. Alrighty. So what you're gonna do now is you wanna create at least the 10 tracks for your images. If you only did seven, that's fine. I end up doing nine only because I wanted it to be a little bit further out and a couple of my middle pieces, there was um, there was few like differences in it. So it was hard to like say. So you're gonna go here, go to add tracks, go to 10. I really don't even need that many. We just gotta add seven. And I don't need nothing of these. And then you're gonna just uh, like stagger them. Boom, all right, so now for the first three, you're gonna just drag them like this. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, so now we gotta give this a bit, a tad, a wee bit of motion. So we're gonna scale this from 100 Go all the way to the end here. And make that 50. And then I'm gonna Bezier both of them. So now we got this thing move. Now this one kind of, you see how it locks on into the image that we already had? It's already coming together, y'all. Already coming together. All right, so now for the second one, we're gonna go and create a keyframe at 200, right? Go to the end of this clip, boom. Make that 100, boom. Then go to the end of the clip and make it 50, boom. And then once again, Bezier, all of them. Boom, so now you got something that looks like this. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? All right, for the third one though, we're gonna go create a creep frame. You wanna go 400. As you can see, it's like 400, 250. It's always half. 400, then you go to end of this clip. We're gonna go 200. Bada boom. The end of this clip. 
100. And then the end of the clip, once again, it always ends on 50. 50. Okay, so like I said, then you're gonna drag them out for each one of them. Drag the four out to the one and respectively, the five out to the two, the six out to the three, the seven out to the four, all right, so like after you have that, click on this. Now this is where you double up, go back to the 400s. Create a keyframe, 400. Go to this clip, end of this, should be at 200. This should be at 100. And then we're gonna end it on 50. There we go. Cool. And then for these, like I said, you're gonna go ahead and bezier all of these like that. Copy them since they're all the same for real. At the beginning of each clip, go ahead and paste those, those 400 settings, click on motion and paste them. That's gonna be the 400, 200, 150. So then you have to repeat them. Cool, and then for this last ending clip, you don't have to have it that far out. You can just kind of stop it where it's at. Me, I'm real anal. As you can see, there's just like, it's not exact. It, and I want that blur on there so it's like, it's seamless. So you're gonna go ahead and find the crop tool right here. Drop the crop in there. And you're gonna drop it by five for each one. Boom, and then just add like a smooth little feather on there. Bada boom, bada bing. I copy and paste those for all of them. So now you have something that's a little bit more seamless. You can barely even tell. Now, that is pretty much the effects. Like you nest it all up, speed it up, blah, 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 blah. But y'all know me, man. There's an effect out there and I can go ahead and make it even better. So what I would suggest is as we're zoomed in here, right i will go ahead and move this down just a wee bit i'm gonna go find some sparks on envato elements check out envato elements for all stock footage b-roll all that type of stuff i'm going to envato elements right now to bring over some sparks to add to this all right so now that i went to envato elements and i found a few elements that i want to use such as some sparks and some fog to give it more of an atmospheric feeling so it's not just a zoom out it really adds that motion type of element as you zoom out, it's giving more of an elemental feel around it. So for this, we're gonna just drop this here. And it's really strong right now, but if I want to, I could add like a linear dodge to it or like screen lighting. I really like linear dodge, so I, I might just do screen. I like screen how it looks. So say you move these two up. Now I wanna add the fog in there. The, now you got the, the sparks going. Now, now in comes the fog. Let's just add a like small cross dissolve on there. Cross dissolve on here. Then the smoke comes in. Maybe we can add like, cause this, the sparks is cause it's like a lot going on right here. Boom. Fog comes in as it's zooming out. Maybe I would add like some rocks like flying across the screen. Got these rocks in here. Like right around here. Do that same thing, apply that. You feel me? All right, these rocks. And I want the rocks to come in like right around here. So maybe I need to bring it up a little quicker. Boom. I need to add a little bit of some levels on here. Yeah. All right, so boom, this is what we got. Sparks flying, fog come in. It's far away now. You got these rocks flying across the screen. No, we really nice. All right, so. Now you got the rocks falling across the screen. It looked like a real like type marble type vibe. And like I said, you can use this for sports. You can use this for anything sports. You can use this for music. You can use this to, you know, make a better type of motion cover. You can use this like, come on now. 
Use the noggin. All right, here we go. Boom. Now you got the, the, the spark, the rocks flying across. Maybe we can add maybe some lightning too. So this, you're gonna go ahead and add that linear dodge on there. We're gonna scale it so it fits what we're trying to do up here. Drop some levels on there, get the levels right. This is if you wanna add effects to it. They gonna be like, how did you do this? All I know is when y'all make this, tag me please, inspo by Ali Dope. Inspo, only dope media. Cause, cause come on now, come on now. Come on now, who's doing this? That's what I'm saying, who? Tell me, tag them below, cause I don't see it. All right, so here you go, boom, 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 boom. Now, you guys, like I said, you don't have to do this stuff, I'm just extra. If you want to go ahead and add a lens distortion on it, you can add a lens distortion on it. Boom, boom. Maybe add a little bit of RGB heat wave, just it gives you like a, like a flowing, like type of vibe or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to, you can end it with some words, something like that. I'm not gonna get that deep into it, but I just wanna show you guys, like I said, what the possibilities are. You gotta think outside the box, baby. All right, so that's that for that. That's all I got for y'all. All right, that's it creators. I hope that helped you in some way, shape or form. And like I said, always, I hope that got the gears turning for your next project. Like I said, think about the possibilities. That's cover arts. This is sports graphics. These are movie announcements, TV show announcements. Like the possibilities are in this. Get started, hop in the premiere today, go into mid journey. It's $10. Stop being cheap. Go invest in yourself. Go get mid journey, open up premiere, play around with the different prompts, play down, play around with some different things. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure AI prompt generator is going to be the next job paying $90,000 in tech soon enough. So get you some easy money. That's all I'm saying. In the meantime, in between time, like I said, keep hustling, keep creating, and most importantly, keep learning. And until next time, I'll leave dope. I'm checking out. Yes, sir.